Hello and good evening. You're watching TMB News. I'm Anju Sukham. Let's have a look at the top stories of today. Under the guidance of Chief Minister N. Biren Singh, the morning assembly has started at Thawal College and Sri Sri Gorgobin Girls College, Kurai Sajar Lekai, on Friday. State song Sanaliba Manipur was sang in the morning assembly. CM N. Biren extended his wishes to the respected principal teachers and students and stated that unity, discipline and nationalism are the needs of the hour. Chief Minister N. Biren Singh said that the tragic events of May 3, 2023 have left an indelible mark on our hearts, but it have also ignited a spirit of unity and determination with us. CM N. Biren was speaking at the launching of the Skilling and Livelihood Program under the Department of Horticulture and Soil Conservation, Manipur, at the City Convention Center in Fal on Friday. And Biren said that with this launching and equipped with necessary skills and technical know-hows, the trainees will be able to dedicate their work towards living self-sustaining lives and further contribute towards growth and development of the state. The government is committed to prioritizing the inmates of relief camps under this mission and provide them with the necessary skills and opportunities to rebuild their lives, he added. Manipur Governor Anusuya Yuki expressed her gratitude to the Chief Minister Anbiran Singh, the Education Minister for the People of Manipur and the Nation, TH Basanta Kumar, and the Education Commissioner Gyan Prakash for their dedicated efforts following the declaration of the results for the recruitment of DMU teaching and non-teaching posts on Thursday. Governor Yuki extended her best wishes to the university for its future endeavors. Mention may be made here that a collective meeting of the Namanjuri University held on Thursday resolved to declare the recruitment results for vacant teaching and non-teaching staff position of the varsity. Later, after conduct of the meeting, in the evening, the result for the recruitment of registrar, deputy registrar, controller of examinations, deputy controller of examinations, and deputy finance officers were also declared. Deputy Commissioner Bishnupur Laurembam Bikram flagged off street corner campaign on Nasha Mukt Bharat Abhiyan Drug Free India campaign for Bishnupur district on Friday. The campaign was flagged off from Mini Secretariat Complex, Bishnupur. The campaign was organized by District Administration, Bishnupur. An earthquake of magnitude 3.3 on the Richter scale hit Ukrul on Friday, the National Center for Seismology said. According to the National Center for Seismology, the earthquake occurred around 9.28 a.m. and the epicenter was located at latitude 25.19 north, longitude 94.31 east, at a depth of 30 kilometers, no casualties have been reported. In a vibrant celebration of Van Mahotsav, the Central Forest Division hosted a highly successful seedling distribution event at the Central Forest Division complex in Mantripukri. Over the course of three days on July 15, 16, and 19, 2024, Around 10,000 seedlings were distributed to enthusiastic students and members of the public under the leadership of DFO and Ganesh. The division has so far distributed and planted more than 1 lakh seedlings under Van Mahotsav and apart from those 1.5 lakh seedlings has been planted under various schemes. The Central Forest Division extends its heartfelt gratitude to all participants and supporters who contributed to the success of this year's Van Mahotsav celebration. A combined team of state and central forces have recovered cache of weapons, explosives and warlike stores during search operations conducted in Takhil village and Therapai Tuisenpai Hills, Kongyam Herikokthong area and Tuibung and adjoining areas in Imphal East, Kokching and Chorachankor district. The recovered items have been handed over to the concerned district police stations for further legal proceedings, police report added. 
Security forces have assured movement of 77 and 246 vehicles along National Highway 37 and National Highway 2, respectively, with essential items in the last 24 hours. Strict security measures were also taken up in all vulnerable locations and security convoy were also provided in sensitive stretches in order to ensure free and safe movement of the vehicles. On the other hand, a total of 101 checkpoints were installed in different districts of Manipur, both in the hill and the valley, and police detained 81 persons in connection with violations in different districts of the state. The Mar in Pui Assam Hills region, along with its affiliated organizations, has condemned the killing of three Mar youths by the Assam police under Kachudaram police station, Kasar, in an encounter on July 17. The victims, identified as Lalongawi Mar, Lalbekung Mar, and Joshua Lalrinsang, were reportedly apprehended by Assam police while traveling in an auto rickshaw. According to police, the three youths were arrested on July 16, around 4.30 p.m. at Krishnapur Road and interrogated. The police claimed the youths were in custody before the incident occurred. The Mar in Pui has called for the Assam government to establish a special commission for an impartial investigation into the deaths. Millions of people around the globe have been affected by widespread Microsoft software outage. It has impacted IT network of multiple businesses, banking services, and international airlines worldwide. In India, check-in systems for Indigo, Akasa, and SpiceJet airlines are down nationwide. The airlines across the globe reported that their check-in systems is experiencing a global outage since morning. The Mumbai airport has been the hardest hit, while the impact at Delhi airport remains minimal with most disruptions occurring in Terminal 2. The outages also caused the grounding and cancellation of flights across the United States. The ongoing widespread outage is reportedly related to US-based cybersecurity provider CrowdStrike.